Today I want to show everybody the male velvet ant, also known as the cow killer. Now the female velvet ant has the longest stinger in the insect kingdom. However, the male has wings unlike the female. It's easy to mistake hornets and other flying wasp-like insects for velvet ants, but the key indicator is the squeak that the velvet ant makes. Now I'm surprised he hasn't tried to fly yet. And getting a hold on it's actually really difficult to get him placed properly. Now I sure don't want to take a sting right there on the fingers. If you haven't already seen the cow killer challenge episode, go back and check that video out. It's really unusual how nature works. Both male and female play their own individual roles in evolution and a family partnership. Pain or sting tests are nothing to look forward to, but it's my goal to educate people so they know what to watch out for when they're in the great outdoors. Okay, so there you go guys. Can y'all see that? Um, a real good look. He does have a stinger. It is nowhere near that of the Mel Velvet Now look, he has some serious pinchers there. You had to put your hand Those in the back Those are serious pinchers. Yeah. So, let's test it out and see if it stings or not. Alright guys, we're going to do it. He's biting me. Or maybe not, I don't know. Alright, get a good zoom in on that. Let's get out of the light there. So, as you see, he's trying with all his might to sting, but there's just no stinger there. So, I can feel him poking. Certainly can feel it poking, but he's not. There's no actual sting there. So, lucky for me, there's no sting. Now, he is biting me with his mandibles up there, if you get a good look at his mandibles. He has some pretty serious mandibles. Um, let's see if those will inflict any kind of damage. Not much. So, I guess guys, what I would say is, beautiful specimen. Um, lucky for me, it doesn't sting at all. But uh, it is, it is certainly something to be wary of because it can be easily mistaken for other flight, uh, flight wasp and stuff like that. So it was my lucky day that I didn't get stung. His lucky day because I'm gonna let him go. And uh, just wanted everybody to see that for 100% certain, there is no sting from the female velvet Now, if I grab him and listen really closely. Still trying to sting me. It makes that squeaking noise. That's to alert predators. Let's go ahead and let him go. All right, where do you think a good place on this tree over here? Uh, maybe just in the grass where I found him. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna let him go. He does not sting. Thanks everybody for watching this episode of The Great Outdoors. Make sure to press that like button if you liked it and subscribe. Um, we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And only sometimes on Wednesday. As you see, he's trying with all his might to sting, but there's just no stinger there. So, it doesn't have a stinger at all. But in reality, I've seen a stinger. Stop for a second. That's actually a fly. Mm -mm. We got lots of great episodes coming up soon, like the Bumblebee Challenge. So make sure to press that bell icon next to the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.